What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This episode is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try to make more time in doing customs. You guys know I love doing them and when I did, I actually thought I did a pretty good job. I've done a fully restored Cobra 427. If you haven't seen that episode, I'll have the link down below. I've done a custom Wastelands Fox body. I've done a lot of customs for people, but it's been probably about a year since I've done a really, really good and fully detailed custom. This one right here is just a basic wheel swap. I just had some extra premium white wheels laying around. These are the eight spoke wheels. I forgot which casting this came out of. It looks great, but if you really look at it, the axles are way too long. Look how much of that axle actually sticks out. So if you were to really look at it up close, there's a lot of that axle in just poking out. And I don't like when that has that look. I want everything to fit as it should. And we all know the aero discs don't look the best on this casting. And hopefully they move away from this one. Hopefully we see a more modern release with some maybe five spokes. Even some steelies would look nice. But again, it's always good to have some premium wheels laying around. If not, you have to sacrifice a casting. You sacrifice a casting. So if you guys want to see more in depth on how I do my wheel swaps, we can make that for a later episode. Just let me know down below. But this one has already been swapped out. Um, I haven't fastened the base to the body yet, so you can easily pull it apart. And typically when I drill out these rivets, I drill it out just enough for it to still be able to snap right into the casting and it, it won't fall off. You can hit this thing and it is on there. So I get it just enough to be able to snap it off and be able to snap it right back on. And then you can put some epoxy or resin or whatever you use to seal your bases back onto the casting. You can use whichever you like. Um, but yeah, so this one right here, usually when I pull out the factory wheels, I trim out just a little bit of these teeth. You can heat them up, you can cut them off, you can do whatever you want. Um, I trim it up just enough for it to still hold in the next axle and they won't go falling off. So these do snap right in, snap out. Like I said, guys, they are a little bit too long and all you need are some fresh wire cutters and I use some super long adjustable wrenches to crimp the ends and I'll show you what that looks like in just a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and cut off just a little bit of this excess axle probably about to right there that's probably how much really sticks out of it so we'll go ahead and cut this little piece off get it nice and clean and then how I crimp the end of this because I've seen a lot of people try to either bend the end of this axle to where it's kind of curled down holding on the wheel but it doesn't give a clean look so what i do is i crimp just the very very edge of it um, and when you do this it kind of mushrooms and it flattens it out and gives it a little bit of width so that that wheel does not fall off so let's go ahead and crimp this down and then if you look at it up close you can see it flattened it out right there on the edge just enough to where this wheel will not come off and it gives it a clean look so where you won't even notice that it was trimmed it'll still roll it'll still do everything that you need it to do but it's just a cleaner look so we'll do the same thing to the other axle because they're both just as long and there you go just a little bit of the axle is in the end of this and I use these long adjustable ones just for the leverage because if you have a short one it's gonna be harder to crimp since these are long it doesn't take that much effort and you can see it leaves a nice little imprint in there just enough to leave that wheel on there so let's see if this fits right it should snap that one back in there you can already see the huge difference on how well that axle fits the base then we'll go ahead and put this car together snap it right back in and there we go still rolls just like it would if it had the original axle on there um, but it's just trimmed and you can barely notice check that out nice and clean very very simple guys um, it doesn't take a lot to trim the axles so if you're the type that wants to wheel swap definitely wheel swap and if you don't have a long enough axle you can always get an axle from another car and do this same process trim down your axle or extend it if you need to by taking it off another casting which has a long axle you can utilize these wheels you can mix and match axles and wheels it's very easy so definitely get yourself a fresh pair of these 
along with some either a long adjustable pliers or whatever you have i think that's probably the best way to use it so there you go guys not a full episode on how to wheel swap but i think the axles is probably the most important thing that you need to learn it's very easy and of course allows you to still have the rolling ability of whatever wheels you throw on there so hopefully this episode helps you if you did comment down below let me know what you want to see if you want to see a full custom from stripping the body down to painting and all of the good stuff or you have any questions on what else you can do with a basic wheel swap let me know down in the comments and of course don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and until next time guys this is the mustang hunter peace